Hello Capricorns, I'm going to get right into the reading, so whatever the cards want to say, whatever wants to come out here. Five of Pentacles. As always, I do private readings, so if you'd like a private reading, my email address is dragonenchantress at aul.com. That is right below in the description box. And I appreciate your comments, too. Even just leaving a heart comment, I'm trying to get back in the algorithm so I can continue doing these videos. So it really does help when you guys comment and engage with the channel and like the videos. Thank you guys for that. Five of Pentacles, Seven of Swords, Queen of Pentacles, Five of Wands. Four of Pentacles. Hmm. Is somebody trying to steal something from me right now? Or somebody's trying to steal something? Maybe energy? Let me look into this more. Ace of Wands, Knight of Swords. Sun, Four of Swords, Five of Swords. Hmm. Page of Cups. Tell me more about this. This is a really strange energy I'm getting here. The Moon. The Ten of Swords. Six of Swords. Seven of Pentacles, Queen of Swords, Wheel of Fortune. I feel like you had someone in your life that was almost sabotaging you, somebody that might have been stealing your energy. There was some, something, something that was revealed here. Somebody was somebody got left out in the cold, and somebody was being sneaky or cheating or lying about something. And I feel like this Queen of Pentacles is now kind of guarded. She's a little bit, she's holding a grudge. She's not really, you know, male or female. It's like somebody's not really opening to this now. But someone want to come wants to come in quick with a new start, with a with an offer. You've got the four of Yeah, because I feel like something was revealed in like a meditative state or something was revealed to you intuitively. Like there was some kind of psychic download that you received about this person about some kind of conflict here or maybe you just felt like something was off like you felt like a friend of yours was trying to compete with you or steal your energy or steal your clients could be like a coworker. Um, you just felt or for others it could be like a significant other that you know you felt like there was let me let me look into it more ten of wands Knight of Cups, Six of Cups, the Star. And it's like this person wants reconciliation. This could be, again, this could be a friend from your past that was jealous, uh, kind of just took a lot of your energy. This could be like a psychic vampire type. This could be more of like a one-sided connection. I just, I feel like there was some kind of conflict and I feel like that was intuitively revealed to you. There was something off about this person that was intuitively revealed. And I feel like now that you've given up, like there was like this straw that broke the camel's back. Now that you're giving up, it's like this person wants to come in now of all times with this love offer. They want this reconciliation um, with the star too. It's like they want to heal this. They want to plant the seeds. They want to do the work. They They want to get this going again for some I'm, I'm actually getting for some this actually could be a friend i for a lot of you i'm actually feeling like this could be like a best friend or a really close friend from your childhood six of cups is like a childhood card so i feel like it, it's like a family member or a friend that 
I feel like they just kind of drained you a little bit. Let me look more into this. I'll get more details as we, you know, as the reading progresses. Hmm. Eight of Wands. Yeah, I feel like you might be getting a message from this person. I feel like maybe Barky Retrograde made them kind of nostalgic and they started really thinking about you, thinking about the past. I feel like this could be somebody too where it's like they don't have the same support that they got with you. They don't really have that support with anybody else in their life at this point. Six of Pentacles, Seven of Cups, Page of Pentacles. But it's almost like, it's almost like it's like an illusion that this was ever balanced. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like this is somebody that really drained you or somebody that really, I don't even know if taking you for granted is the right word. Like, I do feel like this person appreciated you for the most part. But I feel like this person was maybe kind of weak minded and you were more you were kind of strong minded. So I feel like this person put a lot of pressure on you. It's like they kind of made you like baby them or take care of them. Um, it maybe kind of was like a one sided relationship where it's like they did really appreciate you. But still, it's like you were the one that was like driving them around and running errands for them and giving a lot to the connection and you know, being there for them and listening to them vent and dealing with their, their ex-boyfriend or ex-girlfriend drama. Um, you know, you were the one that was going through all that, but it's like when you needed to, when you needed to vent, it's like they weren't really around. I don't feel, you know, I feel like it was just kind of one-sided. It's kind of like an illusion to think for them to think that it was ever like mutual. You know what I mean? Because it's like this person needs you, but I don't feel like you really need them, honestly. And again, I think I think this is a friend. For a lot of you, I feel like this is a friend. For some, it could be an ex, could be a family member. So take it how it resonates. But I am getting a strong like, like two women is kind of what I'm feeling here for for you know a good portion of you at least. Yeah, some kind of betrayal was revealed. Like this person might have like been flirting with your significant other, or they might have. You might have just kind of finally just started realizing they were a psychic vampire type and it's like you wanted to move forward with this. I mean, you wanted to move forward on your own, basically. Tell me more. Tell me more about this betrayal. Page of Swords. Two of Swords. Hmm. You might have gotten a message about this. Somebody, like a friend or someone might have messaged you about this and said... Um, it's like you kind of felt like you might have gotten a reading too. It's like you felt like you were stagnant, like you weren't having a new start because of this person. Yeah, this person might have like had kind of control issues and kind of been keeping you from. It's almost like it's almost like this friend of yours was like jealous of you, like they admired you and they loved you and they needed you. But it almost feels like there was some kind of like jealousy or resentment. Like they didn't want you to. I feel like you were going to get like an offer. You were either going to get a love offer or you were going to get a financial offer. And I feel like they were jealous of it. Um, I think for some they were just jealous because it was like maybe you guys were really close friends. So they didn't really want you to like go off and like you know, start new friendships or start a relationship. Like they wanted you to keep kind of focusing on your friendship and keep, they really needed you. I feel like somebody who might've been like mentally or physically disabled. So it was like, they kind of needed you to like, like not just emotionally, but like mentally and physically too. They might've like, you might've been this person's caregiver or you might've like driven this person around places or run errands for them or like maybe if they have like social anxiety you like made their phone calls for them or you know something of that nature where it was like they they needed you on multiple levels is kind of what I feel um and I feel like they just didn't want to lose that they didn't want to lose you you know even though they appreciated you they still it's like they didn't want you to have new friends or a new relationship that might distract them from your connection or they didn't want you to have like a new job like if you were their caregiver it's like they didn't want you to like go find a new job and like you know um not have as much time for them 
Because it's almost like there was something the universe was trying to give you. And it's like this person tried to block it with this controlling energy, you know, because they this person kind of feels like like they played the victim a lot. Like they they saw themselves an eight of swords energy and they wanted to control control you and kind of block this offer from coming in. And I mean, and I mean, this person does love you. Like, I don't feel like they took you for granted. I think they really did appreciate you. But again, they they kind of just. It's like it's like I just feel like you they really needed you so much more than you needed them. Like they they're very codependent on you or they were very codependent on you. I think at some point you got tired of it though and you're like, "You know what? Like whenever I want to vent, this person isn't around. They don't they don't really you know, like like you felt like this person was a burden at a certain point. You're like, "Whenever I'm going through something, they're not there. They they don't ask how my day is. This person just messages me when they need a ride or they want to vent or they're going through something. I'm it's like you are this person's rock. You are this person's like stability, you know what I mean? And they put all this pressure, all this weight on you. I'm hearing that song. What is that? That rock song from the 90s. All your weight, it falls on me. It brings me down. It brings me down. I'm hearing that song. So it's like somebody who, you know, saw you as very strong. And you are very strong. You are very powerful. And you're very loyal to the people that you love. And they knew that. So they, you know, use that to their advantage as much as, much as they could. Um Let's see here. Tell me, let's see. What was this Ace of Pentacles? What was this offer you were supposed to get? Knight of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles. Something that you would have worked hard for. There was like a transformation that was meant to occur. Um, and I think it might have been a financial offer for a lot of you. For others, it could be love. But it was Five of Cups, Nine of Swords. Hmm. Whatever the offer was, I feel like you know that you lost it. Like it might have been like this person like convinced you not to take another job or something because they're like, well, like, how are you going to have time to be my caregiver or um they might have convinced you like you might have like met somebody and they might have like convinced you like, oh, this person's like bad news. You don't want to date them. And, and you like, you know, I think you looked back. I think you realize like intuitively, though, you're like, wait a minute. This person wasn't trying to protect me. This person was trying to keep me to themselves. Two of Pentacles, the devil. Page of Wands. Chariot. Might have been a love message for some, too. Hmm, the devil. It's like they feel like they that you couldn't you couldn't have juggled. They feel like you it's just kind of like a possessive energy. Will this offer come back around? For some of you, honestly, I feel like this was a job and I feel like no, it won't come back around because like if it was like one of those things where you could have gotten hired someplace else but you didn't because of this person, it's like it's kind of too late for that. But for those of you that it was like a love offer or something, then yeah, it could come back around. Can this can this offer come back around? Strength, three of swords, king of wands, ace of swords. Hmm. Tell me more about this. I feel like for those of you that didn't find out some bad secret about this person, you might have just simply had all you could take. It might have just been one of those things where it was like you just you felt drained like they're like you kind of saw this person in a new light, like something was revealed. It was one of those things where it's like you wanted to see the best in this person. You didn't want to believe that they were the type of person that just you know, feel sorry for themselves and just takes every, you know, just uses people like, or that they would sabotage you. It's like, you really wanted to believe that they were good, that this was a balanced friendship. And I think at some point you realized that, you know, they were draining you and that you needed to move away as hard as it is. For some, this could be like a, a mother or father figure or something that like tries to make you feel, um, like, you know, like I, I gave birth to you, so you owe me, you need to take care of me, you need to do this, you need to do that. 
And I think maybe you probably even had other, you know, family members that guilt tripped you and made you feel like, you know, like, like you, you know, well, they're your mom or they're your dad. So, and they don't have anybody else. So you need to be there for them, yada, yada. And I think, you know, it's really an impressive energy. I'm proud of you for it. Cause you know, you're, you're not listening to those people anymore. You're like, you know what? I've had all I can take. Like sometimes family isn't blood. Sometimes family is just, it's the connections we make. It's our, it's our soul group. Our, our true family is our soul group, our, you know, those past life connections that stay with us forever. That's our true soul family. And sometimes you're not born into your soul family in this lifetime. You know, sometimes your biological family is not your true soul group. And so this is the reading. I'm The energy I'm channeling is somebody who has recognized this, somebody who's like, wait a minute, like this, I don't care if we're related. You're, you're draining me. You're, you're blocking blessings from coming in. I'm not doing this anymore. Um, so stick to that, stick to your intuition. If your life feels so much better without this person in it, you know, stick to that. I'm actually not getting a strong romantic energy. Like for 90% of you, I really actually feel like this is a platonic connection, friendship or family member that you're letting go of. And this person is missing your energy. So it's kind of a reminder too to protect yourself from this don't let them gaslight you don't let them guilt trip you because this is like the victim like a victim mentality type person like this person's gonna you know want to come crawling back to you like oh i don't have anybody else like oh my you know i had to fire my new caregiver or i um i'm all alone now yada yada like like i'll appreciate you just come somebody that's gonna try to weasel their way back in like oh can you just give me a ride to this doctor appointment on on Friday or can you just give me a ride to the store I don't have a car um you know please like just this one time and I'll get you back and and they're gonna you know I think they're gonna like have like an emotional breakdown on you it's almost like they're trying to trap you like they're trying to get you um into like an enclosed space with them so they can just break down crying and just be like oh I need you back in my life like you know and for some, it's not like quite that dramatic. For some, this is just like a friendship where it was like, you know, one sided where it was it was, you know, like you, you like they always just messaged you when they needed something like if they needed a favor or they were always venting to you or they were always um, always had some ex-boyfriend, ex-girlfriend drama going on. There's just always something with this person, always in the victim mentality, never never taking responsibility for themselves always just an eight of swords nine of swords energy like woe is me life is horrible um I feel like this is I keep getting like a disabled energy I honestly and I'm not I hope no one takes that the wrong way like I'm not talking down on disabled people like there is a lot of there are a lot of really good disabled people mentally and physically disabled people out there like there's nothing wrong with that you know what I mean like those people are just as valid um, so I hope you understand the energy difference. Like I'm not just talking, I'm not talking down on disabled people. You know, it's incredibly hard. Like if someone has like fibromyalgia or like, you know, physical mental disabilities, like it's hard. Life is hard enough without those things. So I understand like some people really cannot do things on their own and there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with needing help and support, but that's a major energy difference between somebody that's like disabled and they need some help, but, and somebody who, um, you know, just is disabled, but they just think life is horrible and they just feel sorry for themselves all the time and they drag other people down and they don't care about anybody else's feelings but their own. They think that they're the only person in the world who has a disability. They're the only person in the world who's been through trauma. Like nobody can match their physical pain or their mental pain. It's like, it's that kind of energy that I get, you know? Um, Or somebody who just, you know, like I said, just just mentally, it's like they always have some drama going on and they're always, it's like they vented to you a lot and they relied on you a lot. But they, if you had something going on, they weren't really, they would listen a little bit maybe, but they weren't really like there for you. Like you didn't have a safe space to vent. You had to be the strong one in this connection. Um, oh, anyway, we're talking about that. So the, the what, what, what opportunity, it's gonna be different for everybody. Like I said, if it was a job that you lost, then I, I unfortunately don't see that job. I mean, you know, if they already hired somebody, that's kind of a rough one, you know, you could always try again, but, um, 
strength, three of swords, king of wands, ace of swords, justice, the hermit, three of wands, queen of cups, the world, the hierophant. Yeah, for some, if this was like a relationship that kind of got sabotaged because of this person, I do feel like this could come back around. I feel like there was heartbreak, like this person had to be really strong because they might have lost you to this connection. Like I said, it might have been one of those situations where they tried to like cut other people out of your life out of jealousy and you didn't know any better at the time. Like you thought they were trying to protect you or they had your best interest at heart and there's some kind of truth or clarity coming through. But it does still look like there might be long-term potential with this um, this person here. It does look like that. Yeah. Um, what else? Before we wrap this reading up, what else is there to know about this? The Tower, Four of Cups, Judgment. Yeah, you might get like an ex unexpected message just out of nowhere. And again, you have to be mindful. You have to be prepared to just be like, you have to be prepared to cut out whoever you need to cut out. Because if somebody is just using you like this and they're just draining you and they don't actually care about your feelings, they don't care about your needs. If you're depressed, they're like, I almost feel like this person is like almost like they 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 feel so sorry for themselves and I almost feel like they like saw it as like a competition you know what I mean like if you were depressed they're like oh well at least you don't have like this physical illness that I have or at least you're not in a wheelchair or at least you you still have your you know custody of your kids or you know at least you uh have you know mentally you don't have any disabilities like at least you have more money than I do at least you have you know it was almost like they were trying to be positive and look on the bright side but they kind of just turned it into like a competition like well you know at least you have this and this and this you know um yeah so so you need to and again you know it is okay to cut family members out it's it's okay to cut your entire family out if you need to to protect your sanity to protect your mental health if, if they're not good people, you do not owe them anything just because you're biologically related. You really do not owe them anything. You know what I mean? So don't let this person might, if this is a family member, they might try to have like, you know, aunts, uncles, cousins, brothers, sisters, whoever come back around and try to weasel their way back in and try to, you know, be like, oh, well, they have me blocks. Can you try to talk to them and try to get them to give me another chance? you know, block them, block them, be like, you know what? No, I am not going to talk to them. And I'm going to block you too. If you, if you try to talk, if you try to relay messages after I've told you, I don't want this person in my life, you need to be strong. You need to stand your ground because you are somebody who's very strong and very empathic. But if you let psychic vampires into your life, they drain you and drain you and drain you until you become bitter and you become just like them. Like, you can become, even if you're very empathic, you you can become a psychic vampire yourself if you allow yourself to go through too much. Like if you allow yourself to be drained by people like psychic vampire types, like eventually you do get bitter, you do get worn out to the point where you're the one that needs energy. You're the one that needs to rely on others for energy because they just mentally break you down. You know what I mean? So you, you, you know, you're doing the right thing by prioritizing your, your mental health and don't let anybody tell you otherwise. Stick to that. Stick to these decisions. Listen to your intuition. Because unfortunately, I do see someone trying to come in here and gaslight you, either on this person's behalf or this person themselves. Um, you know, I do see someone trying to offer this cup and you're not wanting it. You're focused and it's good. It's a good thing. You're focused on this. You're not focused on this crap anymore. This is this is this cup is full of pee to you now. You don't want it anymore, you know? You're you're focused on this. You're focused on money, love, career, self-empowerment, maybe going to the gym. Like you're feeling better without this person in your life. So stick to that. Stick to your intuition. Um be a few steps ahead of this person. Don't let them guilt trip you. Like I said, they're going to try to weasel their way back in. They're going to try to use something really small as like an excuse like, "Oh, I I have something of yours. Come pick it up. Like they're going to try to get you alone with them so that they can have a mental breakdown and start crying and trying to get you back in their life. They're going to like beg for you. They're honestly, I honestly see somebody like planning on just crying and begging for you to come back. Like somebody just like straight up just being like, as soon as they get you alone, they're going to just start crying and just like just doing anything to get you to agree to, um, 
could be someone with a borderline personality disorder too, honestly. But yeah, just doing anything to like get you to agree to give them another another chance or see them once in a while, like they're they're gonna lay it on you. They are gonna like almost almost block the door. Like this person's almost like they're not gonna like if you get alone with them physically, they're almost it's almost kind of scary. Like they're almost not gonna let you leave. Like it's it's not good. <laughs> Three of Pentacles, the King of Pentacles. Eight of Cups. Hanged man. Yeah, you're letting go of this because you have a new perspective. Six of Wands, Ten of Pentacles. I feel like you're not letting this person block you from your person anymore. You're not letting them, again, this could have been like a toxic best friend that like didn't want you to date anybody because they wanted you to themselves. And now you're like, you're actually have this opportunity to, to build with somebody here. This could be somebody from the past or honestly could be somebody that you owe an apology to. Like there might have been somebody that you knew was really good for you. Um, like a king or queen of pentacles type, somebody that was really stable. And this isn't for all of you. This is just for like a few of you. But I feel like there could have been somebody who like you really loved and you felt really intuitively good about them. And this person lied about them to separate you guys. And I almost feel like, like this person played on your insecurities because they were jealous. And so it's like, you need to kind of like maybe go back and apologize to this king of pentacles, whoever this is. Or a queen of pentacles, you know, you need to be like, hey, like I shouldn't have listened to the gossip and the rumors. I shouldn't have believed what this toxic person said, because it looks like there might be somebody from your past that you got taken away from almost like this person could have even done black magic. And now it's like time to kind of clear that energy and maybe look at this again, because there is potential victory with this person. There is a potential for, you know, ten of ten of pentacles, stability a solid foundation, you know, building something together. But but yeah, there might be somebody that you owe an apology to because it's like you took the the toxic person's side in this when you should have had this person's back. This was the person that was actually the loyal person to you. So anyway, I hope that helps somebody. Um, Thank you guys for watching. And again, please comment. I really love hearing your stories. Um, just engaging with the channel helps a lot because I, I need that engagement if I'm going to keep doing these readings. Um, you know, likes, uh, leaving heart comments, just any little thing. It, it like it gets these, you know, it, it gets YouTube to, pr to promote my videos again. So it really helps me a lot. And as always, if you'd like a private reading, my email is below in the description box. Thank you guys.